we keep visualizing and we teach this in schools to all the children that the solar system has the sun in the middle and planets going in circles around it like this and we I mean in my school we even had a little device where you had the sun in the middle and you could turn the little uh, thing on the bottom and and the planets would go around and you know is this true no absolutely not in fact thinking of the solar system this way is equivalent to thinking the earth is flat uh, the sun is moving at thousands of miles per second through space and our planets are following producing a huge elliptical coil in space and year after year we do not trace the, the same uh, circle in space we're actually thousands and thousands and millions of miles from where we were the year before so to think of our solar system as some flat structure that's uh, that's stationary is again the result of isolating a system and trying to analyze it and and typically when you do so you get the wrong data as soon as you open the system and you realize the solar system is inside the galaxy and moving through space then you realize that actually we're making a pilgrimage literally through space as we evolve and you could even think of it in the concept of a of a vacuum structure that we are embedding all of our evolution on the structure of the vacuum as we move through that great spiral we're producing through space every single individual on our planet producing that very specific spiral in space and we could follow it back for any individual all about all the way back when to when they were in the womb of their mother which connects their spiral with their mother's spiral and then follow that back and again and again and again and that is the continuity of the information inside the gene, the gene structure of our evolution through space and now we, we get a much more complete view of the structure of the mechanics of our evolution The solar system is shifting its direction around the carousel, around our Alcyon. Where it used to be, it's shifting. It's doing this now, wobble. The whole solar system is wobble. Hey, looking at all that perception. And remember, we don't go around the sun like they think like that. Think about this. The sun is the biggest orb in the universe, I mean, in our solar system. Correct. It has the biggest gravitational field, right? Right. Then how is it that we are maintaining our, our trajectory around it while it's traveling faster than us. We don't go around this. We are pulling its weight mm -hmm. like this. What you're doing is like a symbol of eight? Yeah, it's called the infinity. A, no, you know the, yeah, the infinity. It's called a Mobius loop. Does that have anything to do also with, because we already had two new planets coming, right? You know, planet you X. have more than that. They'd say more than that? I, well, I know they said planet X coming closer, and then it got the next one that comes to the rest of us. You gotta remember when, 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 when some, all right, let's just look at it this way. Let's just say that's the center of the universe. Let's just say this is about a hundred, a hundred billion years, two hundred billion years, and you got us. All right, the center of the universe is the point, the zero point for the creation matrix, the creation hologram. We are doing this. Take us 144,000 years to make one circle. Every time we come to this point, for 64 billion years, our ancestors have tracked the up and down relationship of consciousness on this planet. Because we were timekeepers, not from here, but from here, consciousness. So now, we are at another vector. We had a whole other position to it. And we're over here, ain't this neighborhood over here. Mm. Over here, they got planets that are in our way that we're going to be going into. And we're getting into a whole other field. So they would tell you, the, the Mayans was telling you, at here, this is what happens. At here, this is what happens to consciousness. Now we are... It is he who is the Lord of Sirius. The Sirius double stars orbit in ellipses around one another. 
The orbital period of Sirius A and B about their common center of gravity is 49.9 years. This scientific data is today accepted with one accord by the departments of astronomy at Harvard, Ottawa, and Leicester universities. This information is reported as followed in various sources. Sirius, the brightest star, is actually a twin star. Its orbit lasts 49.9 years. As is known, the star Sirius A and Sirius B orbit each other in a double bow every 49.9 years. The point requiring attention here is the double bow-shaped orbit of the two stars around one another. We've seen that the star Sirius is referred to in Surat An-Najim, verse 49.